can't afford a house, but I'm flattered you'd want me next door. Of course I would. You don't have enough friends to throw a party. Get out! Well, neither, neither do you. So you think after seeing you every day at school, I'd want to go home, look out my window, and see, see more of you? Yes. <laughs> Maybe we could ride to school together. We could play car games. <laughs> You're killing me. I'm sorry. Why would I want to live next door to you? Ask Mr. Givens. Apparently, I'm hilarious. That's sweet of you for asking, but I'd rather stick my finger in a pencil sharpener and crank away. I would love to, Sheldon, but there's a district rule that says a principal can't live next door to a student. That makes sense. Does it? Good. Hey, Robin says the house next door to y'all is for sale. Oh, yeah, it is. Is it nice? Uh, nice enough. Why are you thinking about moving? I wasn't, but Robin's not crazy about living in a house I share with my ex-wife. That's understandable. I want her to be happy, because I love her. Not just because she's a cop with a gun, but that's part of it. Well, I'm sure there are lots of wonderful houses out there. I'd be happy to help you look. Do you not want us to look at the one next to you? Oh, no, of course not. You should absolutely look at it, as well as other houses. I have to say, this isn't the reaction I was expecting. No, it is the reaction you were expecting. Excited <laughs> that my boss might live next door to me. Yay! Well, my boss lives everywhere, and you don't see me getting weird about it. And then after you buy the house, you rent it out to people who are pre-approved by me. I can't afford a second house. Georgie, you make as much money as Dad. Why don't you buy it? He does not make as much money as me. No, but I don't have to spend mine on stupid stuff like food and kids. Mary, where's dinner? So is that a yes to buying the house? Sorry, when I move out, it ain't gonna be 20 feet away. And it's gotta have a hot tub. Sheldon, you need to stop involving yourself in this. You upset Mr. Lundy, and you were rude to the people at the open house. And he was bugging his teachers at school all day. But Mr. Lundy said I could help him. I don't care. Even Pastor Jeff is talking about buying that house now. That could work out. His wife's a police officer, so built-in security. And whenever I have a theological zinger, I can call it right over the fence. You want your boss living next door? Not exactly. You don't have to worry about your boss. There's a district rule that says that Principal Peterson cannot live next door to me. That sounds made up. A principal who tells lies. What are we going to do with this one? Here's the payroll checks. Thank you. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office which is next door. Sorry, it's so close. Lord, I am trying my best. Please help me with this situation. Amen. I meant fix him, not me. Excuse me, 